Oh no, my camera's gonna die. No, 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 no. Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about Halloween because even though I am not doing any Halloween tutorials or anything this year, I figured I can't let this um, kind of, for some people, big holiday or celebration pass without doing nothing. So Halloween I always find to be a little bit stressful because a lot of Halloween costumes are like dressing up as different decades and as someone who already does that every day, it can be hard to find a costume. So I've pulled together, I think, five or six different easy last minute, um, you could get these all within the next week on the way to Halloween costumes that some of them, yes, are very cliche, but hopefully some of them could give you an idea of what you could do for Halloween. Um, so if you already, like me, dress kind of vintage-y every day, I think these will still be enough to get away with going to a Halloween party, to a costume party, to something like that. And I just remembered another costume that I have to get the thing for, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I do apologize for how obvious the first costume is, but yes. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. I know it's such an obvious and possibly cliche choice, but it's also incredibly easy, incredibly distinctive and recognizable and only requires you to get the white dress. So all you need for this, I have this one from Hell Bunny, which I just wear um, whenever I feel like it, is a halter neck dress that comes down to at least your knees and is either white ivory or cream. Be really, really accurate. Marilyn's dress looked like it was satin. Um, it went down a couple inches past her knee and it was um, pleated in the skirt and it had a tie round waistband. So if you want to be really, really like specific and accurate, then you need that. And then if you want to get a complete costume, you will need her white um, slingbacks and um, some red lips and tousled, pin curled hair. So it's it's such an obvious choice, perhaps, for a vintage girl. Okay, my camera has now already died once. It's five o'clock in October. We're losing the light, people. Uh... <clears throat> okay, so I promise that is my most obvious costume choice, but the next costume is another person-related costume, is Jackie Kennedy. So I feel like it's not a very obvious costume choice, but obviously Jackie Kennedy is such a well-known figure of history. Um, typically, to get a true Jackie look, you would need a twin set with a straight skirt, but mine has a flared skirt. This set is from Lindy Bop. I will try and link everything in the description as far as I possibly can. Um, but I think the red is a really good choice because um, I think I always think red twin set when I think of Jackie Kennedy. And then to complete the outfit, all you would need is a pair of pointed either flats or pumps and then to do your hair in the iconic Jackie style. So just flipped up ends and a lot of volume around your crown or you could wear a little pillbox hat um, with the flicked up ends and you can do those ends with rollers or with pin curls or with a straightener or there's so many tools that can help you get that look and I think it's a really cool historical kind of costume choice that a lot of people know but they won't know that they know if that makes sense. Another very 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 basic and easy costume choice that will be easy for vintage girls to create is a vintage housewife. Think Stepford Wives, Betty Draper from Mad Men. So I have this beautiful um, gingham dress. I feel like gingham is a good choice for a housewife. And then to really bring home the illusion, I would suggest having um, pearls and having a, um, an apron around your waist and a petticoat. 
um, so that you really get that kind of over the top housewife feel. You could also wear little like white um, wrist length gloves. Um, that would really add to the vintage look as well and obviously have very carefully styled hair um, and I think that would be a really great choice for a costume party. It's definitely memorable and even if you wear vintage every day I feel like this is such a costumey version that it will still be recognisable as a costume if that makes sense. Also another great choice for the 50s housewife would be if you kept your hair in either rollers or large stand-up pin curls that would look really really good. My next option is um, a ballerina. So this is just a really simple idea. So all you will need is I would go for a pink leotard or bodysuit. Um, you can maybe try and get a wraparound ballet skirt. Those are really easy to find on Amazon. Um, white or pink ballet tights and then just wearing little um, like even just white flats will work. And you can put your hair in a bun, or if it isn't high enough to go in a bun, you can wear um, a headscarf. I was inspired by the pictures of um, Russian dancers in St. Petersburg. I will put the photo here where they had their hair up. And I think it's a really sweet and, again, very easily recognisable costume. Um, especially if you are not a ballet dancer or even if you are it's just super easy these leotards do not have to cost very much um especially if you're doing it for a one and done costume idea um you can find everything you need on amazon which i think is really great my next idea will work for all of you marina and the diamonds fans so i really hope that some of you watching are a fan of hers but a really great costume would be Electra Hart. So Electra Hart is the character from Marina's second album. Um, and all you need to create her look is a bold makeup with um, lower false lashes, a heart drawn on your cheek, I believe it is this one, or just either one, a black heart coloured in and drawn on your cheek, um, red or very light pink lipstick. And then to get the look on the album cover, you can again do very large stand-up pin curls on your head or wear um, a big bouffant hairstyle with a pink or blue ribbon tied around your head. That's a very Electra Heart look. And then just wear pastel coloured clothing. So I have, for example, this dress. It's um, short and tight and pastel -y pink and it would work really well with the whole Electra Heart vibe, I feel. So it's just a really simple costume that not many people will get. It's not necessarily instantly recognisable, but the people that do, you will make friends because you share music tastes. So I feel like it's a really good choice again. Okay, so one of the last costumes I have for you is probably what I'm going to be doing for Halloween, which is a creepy doll. Now, what you will need for this, in my opinion, is a doll-like looking dress. So I'm using this one from Lindy Bop again. It's really, really cute, pink and stripy and innocent. You could also go with like a gingham dress, just something um, either strappy or like Audrey neck um, with a full skirt. And then I think all you need other than that is red lipstick to create a very or any colour lipstick to create a very um, heart-shaped, pouty outline, and some eyeliner to draw on joints and cracks if you want to be a cracked porcelain doll. Um, don't forget to do like your elbows and your knees and stuff like that, and then you have a really cute, creepy doll costume that barely takes you any time or money. Um, so I think that's probably going to be my costume for this year because it's really simple and easy to do. The last costume I have is, of course, a Gatsby girl. Now you may have noticed that I managed to do some kind of Gatsby inspired waves in my hair today. Um, so you could do those and then just put your hair into a little roll at the back if you don't already have short hair. And then any beaded or fringed dress. This one was from Silver Screen, so it was a bit more expensive, but you can again find so many good um, costumes for Gatsby Girl online. Um, it's a really simple um, costume to get a hold of.
a short prayer to be said for the possibly now horrifying lighting, but it's getting dark and my camera doesn't do dark. So yeah, the last, that is the last costume. Um, again, you just need for the makeup some grey, dark blue, dark green, um, or black eyeshadow all over your lid. Um, possibly do a little beauty spot like I have done today because I was just feeling it. And then um, very bold like Cupid's bow lips. I will link to a very good tutorial on 20 style makeup in the description, pardon me. Um, and that is it. I hope that you liked all of my little costume ideas. I know a lot of them are quite simple but I thought it would be um, just a fun little video to give you hopefully some ideas sparking in your brain for Halloween. I hope you will have a really fun and safe Halloween. Stay safe kids. Um, and don't forget that you can follow me on Twitter at the Vintage Darling. Follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling. I did those the opposite way around to normal. Ooh, switching it up. And follow my very neglected blog at a very vintage darling .wordpress.com. And check out my other videos and I'm just rambling now. Um this is the most times my camera has ever died during a video. So woohoo. But that is it. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir. Mm -hmm.